probably class something about yourself, Flats. Well, I like to kick people's butts. <laughs> what a card. Now, Flats. This show is hilarious. Let's go ahead and sit anywhere you like. Classic Caillou, what are you doing? Okay, class, as you remember Oh, last week, nothing, I Lily. Just enjoying that. some nice TV. Anyway, you want to watch with me? Actually, no, I don't know if you were aware, but we have school in a few days. I mean it. What are you talking about, Lily? Well, I understand that the whole escaping into Canada was awesome. I'm yes, concerned that neighbors mom. may get Can suspicious get of us, sitting around at home God, doing no, nothing. Don't worry about that I'm Lily, we've escaped for almost right a year now, people will just business think business that we have online school. No dude, didn't you hear the news? This just in from our newsroom. Students, faculties and teachers living in the Greater Goena, Canada area are informed that the superintendents have decided to shift to in-person classes. Parents be aware of this change as classes in the GAC will start in a week. This must be great news for students as they will be heading back to school in a few days. Parents, make sure to get those school supplies for all your kids, and don't forget that masks are still a requirement for everyone in the buildings. Don't forget to maintain social distancing. This also goes for those who are also vaccinated. Now we got that segment out of the way, let's turn now to the weather. Oh crap, I didn't realize. Well, when we were back at the facility we had our school there, and now since we escaped our way into Canada, all we had left to complete were online classes. But seeing as those students going back in person, I'm not so sure if we can go back to the United States, not to mention that we are wanted. Well then what do you want me to do about that? Look dude, this was your idea of us going into Canada. You could have at least put school into your plan of escaping. Well, how was I supposed to know we would be going back to in-person school? That's why I said you should have put this in your escape plan before we left the facility. I'm more worried about what the neighbors will think of us not going to school. Seeing that we're a bunch of kids running around in our home. Well, how's this? How about if the neighbors ask, we just say that we are homeschooled? Dude, it doesn't work that way. And besides, don't we need documentation of us being homeschooled? I tell you, the last thing I want is to have Canadian cops knocking on our doors and asking us why we aren't in school. Alright alright, forget the homeschool, why don't we bring in Doris and Chris? Uh-huh, and how are they going to help with this situation? So I have a question, since all of us are expected to go to in-person school how is this going to work? Yeah, because we've been waiting to know Lily. Well, I don't know. You can ask Classic Caillou, about this. Yeah, Classic Caillou, this was your idea of getting us into Canada. How do you suppose we go to school now? I may be a troubled kid, but I don't want to see myself ending up in jail for not going to school. Well Classic Caillou, we're waiting for an answer. Fine, you want an answer? Hey everyone, listen up, I got something important to say. Okay then tell us, what do you plan for all of us to do? I have an idea. I've been thinking since we've escaped here into Canada, as might as well enroll in a Canadian middle or high school. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. We've never been to a public school before. We've been raised in a facility for years. Yeah, I'm not trying to be men, but I don't want to learn anything about Canadian history. Learning American history was already bad enough. Look guys, we have no other choice. We escaped a facility that we can no longer go back to. It was our only chance of freedom. The freedom to live the life we wanted. Well that may have been all fun and games escaping just to have freedom, but now we got a problem. You all heard the news lady, saying that students should be going back to in-person learning in Canada, so we can't just hide in here forever. 
That's why I asked if you all would like to go to school in Canada. I don't know, Dai Yu, as a point, even though school in Canada might be a good idea, I just don't think we're ready to witness what life's like in a public school. Come on people, it's just like any other school, except you got to deal with new people. Trust me, I've been to a public school before, and it's not as bad as you think. Oh really? Didn't a few weeks ago, you say that a couple of students were bullying you in class, and that you got suspended for stabbing your bullies? Oh wow, now I don't want to go to public school. Me neither. Guys guys, you don't need to worry about that, that's just a part of life you got to face. Good going classic Caillou. Now we're going to get arrested for sure. Guys, listen up. I need you all to be quiet. Why should we? You've made your point on why public schools are bad. That's because you all didn't let me finish. Fine, then tell us. Okay, look, despite all the bullying I had to encounter being in a public school, there were also some good moments. Not everything is going to turn out the way you had hoped. The point is, I'm trying to tell you that in a public school, you get to interact with people you've never met before. Not to mention the awesome field trips the teachers may take us, if we do well on a test, or even if it's to explore the wildlife for an assignment. Better yet, teachers may even do something nice for students, like if we do an amazing job on a test, the teacher would throw the whole entire class a pizza party, with pizza, chips, cookies, soda, and once in a while, even video games from their homes that they can plug onto the smart board. So actually, public school isn't bad as you think. Despite all the negativity, it's better to be in a public school than, to find yourselves trapped in a facility without seeing the outside world in years. And besides, when was the last time one of the faculties in the facility gave us a pizza party for doing an outstanding job on our assignments? I've never seen it happen once during the time I stayed there. I could only imagine what it would be like being there for years. So what do you say? You want to give public school a try? Well after hearing all that, I may want to give it a try. I want to be able to play video games in school while eating pizza. Yeah, and the idea of making new friends. I mean no offense, but I would also like to meet new people. It kinda sucks having to talk to the same people for years. Yeah, I have to agree on that Agnes, and who knows, we might even meet some cute boys there. Oh yes, there's no telling how many cute guys they'll be in a public school. So, what do you think Lily? I don't know, this all seems too unreal, and even if I say yes, there's no way us kids are just going to walk into some random Canadian public school, without having a legal guardian or parent signing us up. You do realize there's a lot when dealing with applying to a school, especially since we're all first comers. There needs to be a parent or a guardian signing us up for classes and any forms that need to be signed needs to go to them, not the students. I get that. That's why I asked if we could get Doris and Chris to do the paperwork for us, while we handle on getting supplies for the school we're going to transition in. I'm assuming both of them are in their late 30s or early 40s. That could work. I think you've done it. Sorry I misjudged you there. It's fine Lily, I'm just glad you all agree with me. Now I got to alert the others. Now then, where were we? I believe you asked if we could kiss. Potatoes. Oh hey Gailu, do you need something? Potatoes, 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 me want potatoes. Sorry to bother you, but I need you all to know that we're going to be transitioning to a Canadian high school next week. Oh that's great Lily. But you do realize that we're at our last year of high school. Yeah yeah, I know. Also, what's with Alia? Oh, don't worry about him, he's just pissed off at Gailu. Right, well, I'll let you all do your business. Come on classic Caillou, let's tell Taurus and Chorus. You don't have to tell me twice. 
Potatoes. Me want potatoes and sit on char. Please give char and potatoes. I'm hungry and want potatoes and chars. Okay Galo, you'll get your potatoes. No, me want potatoes and chars. Me go find myself. Potatoes and chars. Well, that happened. Cheer up dude, he's gone, now we can kiss. What are you doing here? Well, I came to get some food from the fridge. A likely story. Quit fooling. I know what you're trying to do. What are you talking about? I'm just trying to get some leftovers that I saved from last night's dinner. Bull crap. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to steal cookies again and put the blame on me. Uh. Can we not do this again? It's bad enough how you caused a tantrum back in the facility. Anyway, I'm going to the fridge to get my leftovers. Are you kidding me? So you thought, it'd be a good idea to steal my leftovers huh? You can't prove that Taurus. Oh come on dude, it had to be you since you're the one who complains about food all the time. Oh, so you think I'm a food hoarder? How about I give you a knuckle sandwich, since you're starving? Do it, I dare you. Hey guys, I need your help with something, it involves enrolling us with school. Not right now Lily, I am just about to give this Amos a knuckle sandwich. Well, you can do that later, this is urgent. Fine Lily, explain your question. Me and the rest of the group were wondering if you could enroll us in a Canadian high school, seeing as though you're the only two adults here. Sure, I'd be happy to help you all out. Uh, excuse me, I think she was referring to both of us. But she was looking at me though. Guys guys, you both can be the parents, I don't care. All I need for you both is to act your age, and help us enroll in a Canadian high school. Don't worry Lily. We understand. Ugh. How about you take care of that weight problem chorus, since you always like to steal people's leftovers. What what what? Second thought, I don't know if this was a good idea, to have them in charge of filling out the application for us. True, but we got no other choice, they're the only adults living in this house that are the ones keeping us from getting arrested and such, if it wasn't for them. We'd probably go to a foster home in Canada. How do you think we were able to afford this house without their help? Look, I know they're not the greatest people, but they're the only ones who can help us, since the rest living in this house are underage. Well, I guess you're right. Also, I think we better get out of here. Yeah, okay. Come on Taurus and Curris, you got this. Hey, how come Taurus gets to be called first? Look, can we not start this? We need to act like mature adults. Yeah, I mean come on, you're way too old to be acting this way. Alright alright, fine, I'll act my age. Hello, how may I help you gentlemen? Hi, yes, we would like to enroll our children into your public school system. Okay, now may I ask how many children you are enrolling? Um, oh. Do you know, how many live with us in the house? How should I know, I'm just a... Responsible adult. Yeah, we're both responsible adults. Well, then, I'm assuming you have adopted children, and you can't remember how many kids live in your household. Is that correct? Yes, you're absolutely right. These idiots, 
What kind of adopted doesn't know how many kids live with them? Very well, since you seem pretty confident, why not bring one of your adopted kids? Okay, hey Lily, and classic Caillou, can you get over here? Yeah, you need me. Can you tell this nice gentleman, that we are adopters? Yeah, they are. I've been adopted by these two since the day I was born. Okay, little girl, you made your point. What about you little boy? Um, well, uh. It's okay, classic Kai you just tell them what happened. My parents ditched me last year, and sent me to foster care. That's when these two adopted me, and put me in their homes. Oh my, that sounds terrible. Well, I'm glad you're alright. The same goes for you little girl. Yeah, and besides, they've treated us with the best affection I could ask for as a father. You see when I was born, I was immediately put into foster care, so I never got to know who my real mom or dad was. Oh, thank you Lily, that's real generous of you to say that. Alright, I've heard enough. So, I see that you adults really care about your adopted kids, I'll let us proceed with the process though. So is it just you two kids or are there more? There's more, there's Sapphire, Agnes, Amanda, Emily, Hannah, Galu, Delu, Oliak, Gina, and Classic Rosie. Oh my, that's a large crowd. I'm surprised your kids can remember their siblings better than you could. Hey! No no chorus, it's not worth it. Now then, shall we resume, the necessary documents needed? Yeah, that's fine. Just tell us, what we need to do, and we'll get it done. I'm getting kinda worried, it's been several hours, how come they aren't back yet? Cheer up, Classic Rosie, after all school isn't up for a couple days. Hey you all, we got some exciting news. It turns out, that we are qualified to go into a Canadian public high school this year. Isn't that exciting? No way, are you all serious? Yes, it turns out all we needed were Taurus and Chorus to portray themselves as our legal guardian and that's about it. That's nice and all, but what about the documentation necessary, like our birth certificates? Well, it turns out that Chorus and Taurus had copies of them, before we left the facility. Oh okay, that seems about right, but where are Taurus and Chorus now? Oh, they're coming, they're parking the car right now. Splendid, alright that settles it. Let's prepare ourselves. <laughs>